So recently I got alerted via email and also on Twitter about one terabyte hard drives that were going on eBay for around a little under 40 US dollars. So in Australian dollars, there are just a shade over 50 Aussie dollars and that was shipped to your door. And I got asked if this looks like a potential scam or not. And unfortunately, in my opinion, this thing does look like a potential scam where this year I actually, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I buy a lot of cheap SSDs a lot of the time from brands you've never heard of. For instance, in my hand right here, I've got an Acclimator, I've got a Win 10, and a lot of the times these drives are actually okay and they represent extremely good value, especially versus the traditional names that are out there, for instance, like Western Digital or Samsung or Silicon Power, and you can actually save quite a few bucks. However, there is a brand new scam that is going around in 2022 where these drives will actually appear as legitimate one terabyte drives and they will even further than that pass some legitimate tests but there are some tests that you can do to spot these fakes and there is some advice that i'll throw in to make sure that you ultimately don't get scammed aka getting hosed down and it's actually in the middle of winter right now and believe me you don't want to get hosed down in the middle of winter so let's find out what you can do Never pay full price for Windows 10 or 11 again. With today's video sponsor, SED Keys, you can get activated for as little as $15 using that coupon, BFTYC. Links in the description below. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. Now, first of all, I'm gonna tell you about my experience with getting a fake one terabyte drive off AliExpress, where the seller said they were having a clear out sale. And I thought, oh wow, I can actually pick up a one terabyte drive for an absolute bargain. So I just decided to buy one of these drives. Usually when I test all these different brands, I buy one to start off with. And if that brand is legitimate, then I'll buy more in the future. And I've actually done this with numerous SSD brands and found them all to be good, except for this 980 Pro, which pretty much was virtually a Samsung knockoff. And unfortunately, this drive wasn't to be the case where even though when I installed Windows initially on this SSD, it appeared as a one terabyte drive. And in fact, I quickly then started up a standard self short test and it passed that with flying colors. And I was like, wow, did I really just pick up a bargain? But then I started installing games on this drive. And that's where after about 120 gigabytes of filling up the storage, the whole computer just started to freeze. And basically if you fill up an SSD and you max it out, usually your computer will start running slow. A lot of the times the drives will have actually a few spare gigabytes to make sure that your whole computer doesn't freeze. But if the storage is not there, then the whole drive will just completely crash the system. And furthermore, the system will no longer boot with that SSD because it's just simply too slow to access. So what we had here was that exact scenario. After 120 gigabytes, whole system froze. I knew straight away that I had been hosed with this SSD, but since I did get it from AliExpress and I did test it within the claim period, I am now and actually in the process of sending the SSD back to China and getting a refund. And the good thing is AliExpress did side with me on that decision, but I did have to show them complete proof that these SSDs were fake. And so I thought to myself, well, since I recently got asked this question about spotting a fake SSD, a one terabyte and the new method they're using, I thought I'd share it with you guys. Now, basically what happens is these drives are spoofed one terabyte drives. They appear as a one terabyte SSD. And in fact, the speeds will be okay for the first 120 gigabytes or so. But then after that, they'll then fill up the drive and the extra storage that's supposed to be there just won't be there. And so the drive will just essentially crap out. Now, the thing about this drive is one thing you've got to be careful of always when buying a drive like this is always check the seller's feedback, make sure they got good feedback. And in this case, I did just that. People were reporting on this drive going, yeah, I'm getting this drive, it's legitimate. But then unfortunately, after I received the drive and started testing it, I did check the feedback again. One buyer had left a negative comment expressing what I was thinking as well, saying this drive just crapped out after 120 gigabytes. So I knew I'd got hosed then. However, let's get on to the programs that I use to spot out these fakes. And the good news here is, is that one of these programs can time in, time out again, spot these fakes, and it's free to use. It doesn't cost you any money. And I was searching the web for a program that would definitively prove these drives are fake, but every time I was trying to get to a good program, they're all behind paywalls, unfortunately. They all wanted you to subscribe to their 
enterprise edition or business edition. However, this one program called RM Prep and the version I used here was 2.1.76. And when we went into this test, we have to make sure that the drive that we want to test for is fake is actually not your OS drive. And it's a clean install of the drive. In other words, it's a completely free drive with no data on it. And now what we do here is we select our drive from the list and it's very easy to see. And if we open up Explorer, here is where our OS drive was the one terabyte legitimate drive and that's C drive. But our fake drive, which the one we're testing for is D drive. So now that we know that information, we can go back into RM prep and then click the little drop down menu and select D drive. And then it will come up with some confirmations. We click OK. We want to make sure that we're testing this drive. And then we go down to the quick size test. And then again, we confirm everything. It's just making sure because these proper tests will actually be destructive tests. So they will delete any pre-existing data that's on the drive. So do make sure that it's the clean fake drive that you're testing and not your OS drive or another spare drive that you have in your computer, for example. But once we run these tests, you can just start to see it's just popping up error after error after error. And it just continues that forever because basically the size, the one terabyte, is not what it actually is. So there's not the one terabyte fully there to essentially reserve for this test. And so it's spitting out all these errors. And so that's how you prove essentially that the one terabyte drive that you bought is fake. Very important test going forward, especially if you get SSDs that seem like the price is too good to be true. And here's where I'm gonna pull up another a guide for you guys at least around this time of 2022. I know from wholesalers, the cheapest you can get a one terabyte drive for is around about $35 US. So that's for a 2.5 inch drive. An M.2 NVMe, for example, will probably cost around $3 more. So around $38 for wholesale prices. And believe me, these people have to order quite a lot of these drives to get those prices. So when someone's selling a drive, for around the same price on eBay that's a one terabyte drive brand new shipped to your door and they've got to pay eBay fees on top of that shipping costs. You know the price is too good to be true. So that's always a warning sign with drives. I just thought maybe I got lucky in the case of the drive I bought and it was actually a sellout sale like the seller was claiming. But unfortunately, I did waste my time. But the good news out of that test was I was able to get a process and inform you guys how you cannot get hosed and you can look out. Or even if you buy one of these drives, make sure you have some sort of platform that you buy it on where you've got recourse. For instance, eBay or Amazon or even AliExpress, if you get the drive and it's not what you paid for or you got scammed, you can definitely get your money back. eBay and Amazon, it's a lot easier to get your money back too. So I'm surprised this seller is actually trying to pull this off on eBay where as soon as the people get the drives, They'll just essentially run the test. But I think what the seller is hoping for ultimately is people will get these drives, just install Windows, maybe just install one game, and they won't notice that they're fake one terabyte drives. And so in that case, for instance, even the seller on AliExpress, they got away with selling a heap of these drives where people thought they were legitimate and they're leaving good feedback. But in the end, this seller was being disingenuous. He was selling fake one terabyte drives. Also, there is one more test that you can do to prove a fake drive, and that's called fake flash test. This program was originally designed for SD cards because a lot of SD cards were coming out and they were, say, for instance, 64 gigabytes, but they were really only like four gigabytes and they were appearing as 64 gigabyte drives. So this program was designed to quickly test to see if they were fake drives, and it pretty much uses the same RM prep method through this different interface. However, the problem with this fake flash test program was that I couldn't see my drive, the fake drive, the one terabyte at all in this program. It just wasn't showing up. So RM prep itself, the version 2.1.76, I'll put that in the description below. It's a great test. In the end, it was the proof that I needed to go on AliExpress and for them to accept the refund and favor in my side to get my refund. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video about fake drives. I mean, it's sad that these scams exist because they do ruin 
a lot of the images of the new brands that are coming onto the scene and are actually providing legitimate products. And believe me, I've tried a lot of these cheaper SSDs out and a lot of them have actually been very good, very reliable. For instance, this Acclaimator, this is actually a really good brand. I've tried one of their drives out already. This is actually the second purchase and the drive was actually blistering fast and really reliable. So in other words, great value. Though as always, the one bad apple tries to ruin it for the bunch, but hopefully this video has made it so that that bad apple can quickly be exposed before it does ruin the bunch. And with that aside, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Also, let us know in the comment section below if you have any thoughts or experiences of your own regarding fake drives or even good value drives. Leave them in the comment section below. Love reading those thoughts and opinions. As always, just like this question of the day, which comes from Turkish Jade. And it's not really a question so much. It's a comment in the recent RTX 4080 review we did. They said, dude, I know you don't live in the US, but this card will be 1700 US dollars for the next six months after tomorrow. So the 16th of November. And I'm actually surprised that the prices in the US for say RTX 4090s and 4080s, if they're going this far above MSRP, I'm actually very shocked. It's almost as if Nvidia have, or Jensen has some hypnotizing device over people in the US because for instance, in Australia or even in Japan, you can pick these up, at least even 4090s, much closer to the US dollar adjusted MSRP prices. So was kind of surprised to hear that. And, and ultimately if an RTX 4080 is 1700 US dollars, let it sit there on the shelves. Do not even entertain prices above $1,200. I even thought $1,200 wasn't good value for this card. I thought there was way too many other factors out there at the moment that makes this card pretty bad value. I mean, you've got the previous generation cards, not just new, but also used, offering fantastic value for money right now. You've even got the RTX 4090 beating that out, at least at MSRP in terms of value, which is surprising for a flagship card too. Then you've got AMD's XTX card right around the corner. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that review. And with that aside, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. If you stay this far and you're enjoying that tech content, as always, then be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll see you next time. Peace out for now. Bye.